Our next problem, we're going to consider the reaction of nitrogen dioxide uh, being converted into the nitrogen tetroxide, N2O4. So if 25 milliliters of NO2 is completely converted to the nitrogen tetroxide gas under the same conditions, what is the volume of the product, the N2O4? And first we're going to look at the equation itself because two moles of the dioxide will actually only make one mole of the dinitrogen tetroxide. For this one we're going to use Avogadro's law. And if you don't remember it, it's okay, that's why I'm here. N1, V1 over N1 is going to give a constant so we can actually just equate it to the final conditions. So V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2 where N is the number of um, moles and the V is the volume. Alright, so we are going to solve for V2. This is one we want. So we're going to pass the N2 to the other side. So V1 times N2 over N1 gives you the final volume and now all we have to do is just put our numbers in. So the first volume is 25, the initial volume, and we have only, we form only one mole of the product, so the final number of moles is only one, but we actually start with two moles, so we're going to put two as an initial number. And after you do this, you know that the second volume is half the original volume. Thus it makes sense. Well, let's see. You have two moles of nitrogen dioxide, and those two moles only make one mole of the product. So it makes sense that if you reduce the volume by half, uh, I'm sorry, that if you actually just go from two moles to one mole, the volume will be reduced by half as well. So the second volume, I forgot, goodness gracious, I forgot the units, so 12.5 milliliters is the final volume.